Hi guys, I'm Mom of to Many. I am mom to 14 children. 12 of my children are still here at home. So, a couple weeks before the baby's going to be born and we are trying to get things together. We just finished the Every Bit Counts Challenge and it is starting to transition from our summer into our fall type weather, which means my house needs to transform. If you follow me at all, a lot, whatever, um, you will soon learn that living in a small house means usually as seasons change, my house needs to change to be the most appropriate and the best for our family given that season. So that is what we're going to be working on. I'm going to try to document. I tend to document like just the afters instead of before, but I'm going to try to just give you a before and then an after. And it's a perfect time because we've been cleaning, we've been, um, canning a lot and things just need to get like scrubbed down room by room and we're going to go through each of the rooms doing that okay so some things i have an idea about and other things um i don't so it will kind of like evolve as i start to change one thing then i'll move things over so out front here on our porch we have just this side closed off we will be taking the um bathtub and all that type of stuff off the porch and then we'll be closing this in and putting a door let me see if I can show you putting a door in this area right here we do that so we can put wood that's going to go to the front room's wood stove on the front porch so this is the front room this is the um wood stove right there okay so in this room here, we have, currently, I have a couch, which I moved out here so that I could sit down more and still be like right in the center with the kids. In the wintertime, we usually do have some sort of seating in this room because this room is actually really warm. So first thing like in the morning, when I go to start the fire, the little kids usually would snuggle there and maybe they do like some reading or whatever as I started the fire. So um we did get most of the camp supplies that were all around there most of those camp supplies are actually out and stored for the season things that are going to change jackets soaps are probably going to be going upstairs um which is where they go um to cure but those are the ones that i just did this week these jackets are probably going to get rearranged to another spot and shoes i think i'm going to bring down here where this couch is and then i'm gonna like move the couch so it's against that wall in front of the wood stove i think that's how i'm gonna do it but i'm gonna measure things out and make sure that that will work okay now over here this is kind of like a sewing corner and we have decided for this year taking the majority of our sewing stuff outside into our um our cabin you guys have seen the cabin before we're gonna take them that outside i ended up taking the queen mattress that was in the back room into the house so that my husband and i have a king and a queen in our bedroom we have a massive bed pretty much um and that is working well right now that's working well night right now, so I don't want to change that. She was upset over apple peels. So this area right here, I think, is going to be taken down. Some of it's going to go into our big living room. And then this section, I think, is going to be where I'm going to be putting the younger kids' jackets and such in here. We used to keep all our jackets together, various seasons, various times, in different places. Currently, my older children, their stuff is out in the garage, and then the younger kids stuff is in here mainly because it's easier for me to be able to take care of the younger kids stuff if it's in here rather than having to go out and get them dressed out in the garage which might be cold especially if I have like a baby or something in the house it's hard for me to like go out get a toddler or five-year-old dressed and then come back in um as much as you guys think that my older kids are like my personal slaves <laughs> they work a lot of them work outside of the home and have other things that they are working on so it's not like they're always available to be like hey can you go out to the garage and go get that person dressed to go in the snow okay so um 
that's going to be this area here and then in here i'm going to clean this off and then i have four drawers down here i want the bottom drawer to be socks the next drawer is going to be hats and mittens the next drawer up the third one actually right now is for my youngest two um, I have like coloring books and stuff that they can get whenever they want. I have a craft cabinet, but that's stuff that they Mom, know that they're allowed to. Mom, I don't outside. Yes. I put this away. Okay. Um, so I'm going to be cleaning this off. I actually got the, the cutest little caddy. My daughter's not in here, but we have some birthdays coming up. And I got a cute little caddy that has this stuff. Um, together so I'm going to get rid of those and then put the caddy up here for the tea and then the top drawer here will be tea supplies um, and hot chocolate supplies for the winter because right next door in our kitchen this is kind of like our coffee area so I think that's what I'm going to start on um, as far as I'm going to start on those types of things first um, Let's see, I'm gonna, I'll show you my dining room. So each of the kids have a drawer. Let's see if we can show that, okay. So each of my kids who are in school have a drawer. So there's actually six drawers here. I have a drawer, the top drawer is my drawer. This, and then I have the five middle homeschoolers. So my oldest who is 17, he keeps his stuff um, separately so some of my children keep their stuff separately in their room like at their desk but the middle kids that need access this is where their stuff is kept and we just got so excited did you guys see my haul we got this and my daughter and son hooked this up for me so now we have a printer that actually works which is exciting so we're gonna need to go through just like everyone needs to every once in a while go through their stuff yeah, I need to go through that stuff. And this room just needs, I think, this part of the room just is going to need a good cleaning. I'll take the curtains down, wipe all that type of stuff down. Any seeds that are ready to be dehydrated, those will get put away. Probably wash the windows, all that type of stuff. I'll probably clean. Um, like, we clean the table numerous times a day, but usually when I'm doing this type of stuff, I'll get somebody to clean like all underneath all the crevices and stuff under the table. So we will do that. These right here, they haven't been working. Those are coming down and we're gonna figure something else for that wall. And that's okay, it, try something. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Okay, then I'm going to show you this area. So I'm still in my dining room. Apparently I'm gonna like block the whole thing. I'm still in my dining room. All under there are green tomatoes. These two are going to be going on tomorrow in the roasters. We found another roaster. Um, I asked, I was gone all day in the city um, for doctor's appointments, but I went to the chiropractor. Yes, I feel so much better. Um, so she actually, we had a pile, we have a pile of like extra stuff in the garage and she found another roaster in that pile. I thought I had one, but then I had a couple people look and they couldn't find it, but it was like buried under a bunch of stuff. So we got that out. So we are going to, um, my daughter just cut the last bit of soap for me. Um, so that stuff and all the soap supplies are going to get put away. I'm going to probably tonight I'll work on getting this garlic. Oops, this is all getting planted. So I am going to be working on pulling those into pieces so those can get planted. And then I have the two crates of the tomatoes that need to get in the roasters. And then I have some just some seeds that we need to go through. So we'll probably go through all of that type of stuff. And yes, so probably tomorrow... I'm thinking probably by tomorrow afternoon we'll be able to clean up quite a bit of that because once we get the um, sauce and stuff done so I think that's probably I'm just gonna show you these two rooms I don't know how I'm actually gonna do this um, but I'm gonna show you these two rooms and that front porch and then maybe I'll share that with you 
um, after we get things situated. I don't know, I probably, maybe sh I should show you the living room too. So I'm gonna show you my living room. I don't know if I'm going to do this in two separate videos or if I'm going to do it in one video, but I'm gonna show you what my living room looks like now. And I am being completely honest with you, it is a hot mess. So um, a couple things that's going on in this living room is we just went through our great clothing swap. So a lot of this stuff we need to bring up into the attic, but I'm just gonna share it with okay. you. Okay, I'm ready for everyone to say that I have a filthy house because that's so common. Um, anyway, so the wool is going to need to go out. This is all um, clothing that needs to go up. These are extra things that we have um, dehydrated and such. So I need to take those things. Obviously, what we're going to do is we need to clean out the chimney, something that we do every year, and then we scrub this all the way down and then we put the back fencing up. So these cabinets, let me see if I can, okay. These cabinets right here, we will clean all of these out. The kids' toys are up here. That will get situated. Um, then we have this here. We have, um, right now that has dress up clothes. It did have the, um, swimsuits and everything to go in the pool and then these two are like futon mats which we use under this bar so they can do gymnastics then i have my desk this stuff needs to get sorted through because we just came back from a camping trip um, these things need to get hung and possibly ironed depending on what they are because i just swapped things through so Everything in these cabinets. This cabinet right here is mainly school supplies. Then we have craft supplies and we have games in here. And then here currently, this right here has um, DVDs in the bottom, but I think I'm going to change that. This is just two drawers, has a couple things in it. I think I'm gonna change that as well. That's a pellet stove. This is coming down. Um, this is currently how we get up into the loft space. The loft space has things like um, yarn and sewing and that type of stuff, supplies. So, so it's not my top priority, but I do think that we're going to be bringing the fabric and the yarn and that type of stuff into the cabin. I think that's what, what's gonna work for our family for right now. We were thinking about trying to get the cabin ready to, um, potentially like have people there and whatever um and maybe that will be another season but for this winter with what's going on in our household in our family right now i think what we're going to do is put all of our um sewing supplies we'll have um we're very like handicraft type people right so we have um like wood burning and yarn and fabric and um all those things because i have really creative kids and so that i think we're just going to make the back room into that so that's going to be a really cool fun project so i'm going to show you my living room currently okay so things that are going to happen remember i had couches all over here that crib is actually from upstairs we just changed some things around so that is going to go in the rafters and the mattress is going to get slid underneath some of one of the beds. And then I'll move this couch over, I'm thinking maybe here. And then I might make a little bit of a corner here that we can have some of the sewing supplies over in that corner. I don't know. I'm just trying to figure it out. This tote right here, I still need to go through the clothes in that tote and then that will get put up as well. So what we, what do, we do is we, we take down all the stuff and then I sort through all of the things for the kids. So now I've sorted through most of the clothing. So um, they have most of their clothes for the fall all out already. And so they have a couple of summer things and then a couple um, fall winter type things that is available to them. So that's kind of just how I do it. I'll probably bring the other rocking chair in here as well. 
I don't know. So yeah, it looks really messy in here right now, but we're going to get there. It's because we were going through all the clothes, which we got done, except for that tote. And that tote is actually my clothes. <laughs> so I need to try to figure out um, what I'm actually going to have for after the baby and what, see if I have like a couple of nursing shirts and like that type of stuff, what I'm actually going to be bringing to the hospital and need for the first little bit after the baby because I'm not going to potentially like want things really tight on me like especially I hate wearing like tight things on my tummy right after I had a baby anyway that's what I'm gonna think there so we gotta clean up this room as well all right so this wall here the top shelf has been wiped down second shelf wiped down we have a chair over here and the windows have been cleaned and we added the shelf there. Okay, so I'm just gonna explain real life large family, okay? I redid this two years ago. I sanded it down and then I painted this gray, but do you see all the chipping and everything on it? That is how quickly things get. This is perfectly clean. This was totally just scrubbed down and then Okay, so back in the front room, they took all that stuff down. My daughter is washing the walls. As you can see, most people say, a lot of people say that our house is dirty. It is well loved. Um, we need to paint our house um, overall every like three years or so, like the whole house. Um, just because there's so much wear and tear on a house in a family this size in an older house. I am leaving this soap up there for now. I do not know what we're going to eventually do once it cures a little bit i'll probably bring more of that upstairs and then i'm going to move around to this side let me back up a little bit for you guys <clears throat> so again well loved wall um we have two shelves here and then bigger jackets are going to go on the top smaller jackets on the bottom this is sewing supplies we need to actually go through all of those bins as well as the stuff on the table. So I am currently, sweatshirts need to get washed. Um, I am going to add, I had this cut, so my son cut that, and I am going to add some of the um, hooks to it. So we cut this part off, took those two hooks off. Now I'm going to be adding hooks like this so the younger kids can have jacket space. So I think what we're going to do here is take these and just put them like a row along here. Okay, so what we're trying to decide right now is we want that couch here, out here, but obviously with that foot thing, it's not gonna fit here. So we're trying to decide if we want to switch couches or if we want to move this in a little bit. I think what we're gonna do is cut two off of here, like cut it right here, push it back, and then see how that goes. Okay, so this is coming in from the kitchen area. I moved the coats and jackets here, so older people, younger people, and then space up there for stuff to go. Obviously still need to clean those windows. These two boards need to go back outside. We are building over here, something I'll show you in a minute. We still need to do all around the wood stove. We need to take the stove pipe off, clean all around. We did end up um, shortening the section here um, so we could fit the couch there. My sweet daughter fell asleep. It's not nap time. She fell asleep on the couch on my lap, so I moved so I could take this video, and I'll need to wake her up in just a minute so she's not up all night. I have had a runny nose, and there's my fancy tissues. That was a timer for the canner. And so this bin right here, she just put my daughter, that was, I was measuring things and changing a Omnipod, real life. I asked if she could make this with a lid. You probably saw this before. This is a wood box. Saw this before in our living room. I think what I'm going to do with this is to um, take that and use that for, yes, snow pants. There we go. So 
And that is it as of right now. We were blessed with, somebody gave us three boxes, probably about 100 pounds of bananas. So we're working our way through that. <laughs> um, and that is happening over there. These are some more things that I need to sort because I cleaned off this area here. I put together our new like tea set and stuff. We're gonna have a tea party for some of the girls. And I put some of that stuff together there and then I cleaned out the drawers. So in the bottom drawer, so this drawer is like the kids arts and crafts for the little kids. And then the next drawer down will be hats and mittens. And then the bottom drawer will be socks. And then this is stuff that needs to get attended to and the shoes. I'll show you outside. I'm actually not building it. My daughter, she, um, I asked if she could take it outside and paint one of those things. And then we will put the shoes back on it now that it's painted. So you probably can tell the color is from um, the door jams that we did as far as the kitchen goes. And we have painted this all up. So this is going to be for the kids' boots. Um, yeah, it's gonna be for the kids' boots. So I don't know what I'm actually doing with this thing. Oh my goodness. I love my wood stove, but it's so, it looks so dirty. I'm just doing the best that I can because I don't really know what I'm doing. So <laughs> I am first, I'm gonna try to sand some of the sand off of the top. It's not a very old wood stove. I just don't know how to care for one, um, which makes it really kind of difficult. Okay, so coming in from the other room into our big extensive living room. No, that chair is not gonna stay there. Um, I will show you what I'm doing there in just a minute. So we have these three cabinets. I did not clean those out. Um, I might do that in a different video. If I have enough time to do that, then I will do that in another video. And then we have seating over here. And then these toys right here actually need to go in one of those cabinets. So we'll do that on another day. And then I have my desk stuff. The stuff in this bin right here needs to go in my desk. So I'm going to organize those things. Um, and then we have the couches and the chairs in the corner. And we did, um, these have extra blankets in there. This has um, some projects that I'm working on down there. And then I have sewing supplies here. There is one of the, yes, one of the sewing machines there. And I need to go grab my sewing machine. So one of the reasons that I need to stop this video um, and stop organizing for a little bit is I desperately need to do a couple sewing projects. So I'm going to stop and do those sewing projects. So looking around from the other room, heading this way, this is what we have. I started to, this right here is going to get tidied up. Um, and back there is actually stuff that we put out here once this is all tidied. So as you can see, I started to work on this stove, but now I need to do supper. So I am working on the stove. I got this part done. I don't know. I have been scrubbing that forever. And my back is done with the scrubbing part of that. So I am going to try to work a little bit on the top and then the front there. And we will finish that off. But it might honestly take me a couple days because my back hurts. And I did go to the chiropractor the other day, but he did say, you know, your back may go right back out because of how it was and how bad it was. Um, I did get a couple days of relief and I am going back in a couple days. So I am glad for that, but standing for long periods of time is not happening. So basically the only toys that I left down here were these three bins and then what's in the cabinets next to me over here. Everything else I put away and we will take down one at a time. So let's go into the front room. Okay, so now this is the front room. We are going to have older children's clothing here, hats and mittens up there for the older children, and then younger kids there. We also have other ones that are out in the garage. Um, yeah, for older people, as in teenagers, their stuff will be out in the garage. So then we put boots and stuff for the younger kids here. We still have our herbs driving here and we're not starting a fire yet. We need to take care of that wood stove area as well but this works. This was the white shelf that we had and we got it painted. And I think that it looks 10 times better and hopefully won't look as dirty as often. Um, 
Then we put the couch here. This made this little lip. I might end up taking some fabric or something and stapling it on there um, just to give it a little bit of color or something. I don't know, we'll see how far I get. And then that soap we have been bringing up, but I need to organize a little bit more upstairs as well. And then I'm gonna turn around this way. So you can see this is pretty much all cleaned off now and still are attending to those bananas. And then we put all of the tea supplies um, in here that we are currently using. I also have a ton more of different tea supplies um, upstairs. And then this is the little kid's drawer. They are allowed to keep their bins. They each have bins here. And um, just different things that, things that they're allowed to do. The other kids' drawers are over there behind the bananas. And anyone who's school age has one of those unless they keep it in their room. So that is basically just for them. Socks are gonna be down there. Hats and mittens in so there. I think that's about a wrap for this. I'm pretty excited. I need to get some sewing projects done, which are gonna to take top priority to um, the cleaning projects at this point. And then we also have two birthday parties that actually are for the end of the month, but <coughs> I need to do early because if I have this baby early, I want to be able to give the kids that time um, with me. And so that is what I'm doing. We're still doing a little bit of canning here and there, not here and there. Yeah, we're still cooking and we left the door open. So the smoke is going in there. Yeah, bye. So those of you who are going to ask it, was not a big deal so we have a grill on the porch and we left the door open and it was smoking a little bit and so the door was left open and there's a fire alarm like right there in our house so that is why the fire alarm went off but i hope you all have a blessed and wonderful day